What's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Millionaire E, coming at you with the TV show review. Now, the TV show we're going to be talking about is Sweet Tooth, and this is on Netflix. If anybody want to watch it, but spoiler alert for anyone who's not seen the TV show. I don't want to spoil it for you. Now, let's talk about Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth takes place in a world that looks like it was during the purge, almost. And why I mean this is because the electricity is down. People are using, they're not using cars anymore. They're using horses. So everything seems kind of post-apocalyptic. And so what's happening is the sickness is killing people. And how people knew what the sickness was or how they knew if someone had the sickness was by their pinky finger trembling very, very quickly. And what they did was, and I'm like, I'm so glad I'm not making any jokes about Corona, but I'm so glad that we have gotten through Corona. Thank you, God. Yes. But I'm so glad that the people in this show did not act like the people in during Corona. And the reason why is because this show is gritty. This show is very, very gritty. Because what happened was they, these neighbors were at a party. There was, it was like a neighborhood party. They found out that this guy had the sickness. What they did was they put this man in the chair, grabbed plastic wrap, wrapped him around in a chair, then proceeded to pour gasoline all over his stuff in his house, then went outside, left him in the house, and lit that sucker on fire, and sat there and watched the whole thing happen. And I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? I'm like, just imagine... Like, you you have a neighbor right there. He's all Johnny. You're like, oh, hey, Johnny, what's up? What's up, Johnny? And then Johnny finds out you got the sickness. And it's like, no, nah, bro, you got to stay in your house. We've been to burn your house. Down. I was like, bro, these are people that we used to just walk around and say, hey, what's up, buddy? And that was so creepy for me because it was a neighborhood party. Everybody knew everybody. But it was like once they found out somebody got the sickness, it was like, nah, bro, I ain't messing with you. They was like, we didn't know who you are. They killed him. But the sickness is not the only thing that's about the show. No, no, no. That's not what led me into the show. What led me into the show was the human hybrids in the show. And so this show kind of showcases around a few people. So you've got Gus. You've got, I think it's Amelia. Then you've got the doctor. And Gus, he is a hybrid, which he is a deer, half deer, half boy. So he is on this trip trying to find his mother. And then you've got Amelia, who just wants to live a normal life. Because she was a therapist. She was just listening to everybody's stuff and all that. And what happened was she ended up going to a zoo. Because like I said, this was a post-apocalyptic world where everything was just pff, down. And she ended up working at the zoo. She found a baby, which was a hybrid as well, and called her pigtails. Because she, she had a pig nose and pig ears. And then you got the doctor who, the doctor, his girlfriend has the sickness but he, he's giving her these vaccinations that's not stopping the sickness, but it's kind of just, you know, well, it is stopping it, but it's not permanent. And he has to take the mantle of the lady who used to make the vaccinations. So, as I'm saying, the thing is, with the people, they don't like hybrids. They think the hybrids are the reason for the sickness, which then creates the last men. And the last men were built to kill the hybrids and so you'll see kind of a lot of wow hmm. you'll see how hybrids are more kind of not really looked upon as good and that's what i kind of like about the show is it's not that i don't like how they look at hybrids but it's like how like there's just one part where this guy named jeff he used to be a last man but he quit and he's a sniper he's like a hunter he literally protects gus and gus like sticks to him forever and then there's this even one part where literally he and this other girl, Bear, who is a leader, and she she takes in hybrids to protect them. They're fighting each other. And Gus is like, listen here. Put your fist like this and fist bump. Stop arguing. Because they were they, they were like <laughs> water and oil. It was so hilarious that they were just sitting there like, and they just fist bumped each other. So this is a really, really cool show. I encourage y'all to watch it. It is a little gritty, though. And remember, like the video, share it with your fam, and subscribe. And if you're subscribed, put that bell icon to be notified for more videos. 
and I'll see y'all later, millionaires, and have a blessed day. Bye, y'all.